Welcome to week five of Midweek Lent. Today it is about communal lament. We begin with an opening litany. The prophet Joel calls us to return to the Lord with all our hearts. Lord, use this holy season of Lent to reorient our lives toward you. As we raise our voices in lament, comfort us and give us cause for hope. Bless our worship, our work, and our play. Guide us with your spirit that we may follow where you lead in confidence and trust. When our world is rent by violence and our lives are marred by grief, when our songs of calm assurance turn to cries of unbelief, God, we raise our lamentation. Seeking refuge and relief. When our cities stand forsaken and the poor must beg for bread, when the prisoner sits forgotten and the homeless find no bed. God, we raise our lamentation, waking justice from the dead. When our lives are burnt to ashes, and our hopes fade like a dream when our stories lose their meaning and despair becomes their theme god we raise our lamentation come lord jesus to beauty from the ashes and our violence tend our peace give us visions of a future where all captives find release where oppression is evicted Let us pray. Holy and merciful God, in times of distress, turn our hearts and minds towards you. Let our communal laments be signs to those around us that we worship you, a God who hears and holds our cries. As we lament together in community, may we provide space to all searching for ways to voice their own pain and grief. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we read from Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O God, our ancestors have told us what deeds you performed in their days, in the days of old. You with your own hand drove out the nations, but them you planted. You afflicted the peoples, but them you set free. For not by their own sword did they win the land, nor did their own arm give them victory but your right hand and your arm and the light of your countenance, for you delighted in them. You are my king and my God. You command victories for Jacob. Through you, we push down our foes. 
Through your name we tread down our assailants. For not in my bow do I trust, nor can my sword save me. But you have saved us from our foes and have put to confusion those who hate us. In God we have boasted continually, and we will give thanks to your name forever. Yet you have rejected us and abased us and have not gone out with our enemies. You made us turn back from the foe and our enemies have gotten spoil. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors and derision and scorn of those around us. All this has come upon us, yet we have not forgotten you or been false to your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, nor have our steps departed from your way. Yet you have broken us in the haunt of jackals and covered us in deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of God or spread out our hands to a strange God, would not God discover this? For God knows the secrets of the heart. Because of you, we are being killed all day long and accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Rouse yourself. Why do you sleep, O Lord? Awake, do not cast us off forever. Why do you hide your face? Why do you forget our affliction and our oppression? For we sink down to the dust, our bodies cling to the ground. Rise up, come to our help. Redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. This week, we turn to communal lament. Sometimes disaster strikes, not just one person or household, but an entire community, even an entire nation or nations. At such times, we can find strength in coming together to mourn, raising our collective voices in a loud cry to God. Just as we need the support of community when we face individual calamity, we also need one another in the face of a shared disaster. We need one another for strength, for courage, and to help us make sense of what is often senseless. Destruction due to natural disaster or destruction due to human violence. What expression of communal lament do you find most meaningful? How have you felt the strength of your community in times of disaster or distress? to you. Oh God, you know all that we think or do. You know the pain we put each other through. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, grant us peace. Help us to put Aside the angry word, the clenching fist, the wish and will to hurt. Teach us the way in which love best is served. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, grant us peace. You did not even spare your only son. He lived our griefs and bore all evil done. But through his cross, redemption has been won. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, grant us peace. God, when we suffer all that we can bear, then let us know that you in truth are near and will not leave us lost in all our fear. Lord, have mercy, Christ. 
Christ have mercy, Lord grant us peace. For our prayers today, we're going to use prayers from the service after a violent event from our All Creation Sings. I think this is one of the reasons that um, the resources have used Lament as a theme this year, is to introduce the new prayers in this hymn book um, to Lutherans across North America. Let us pray. Gracious God, the news of this day has ripped our hearts and torn our souls. We are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. In the depths of pain and anger, we gather before you, O God, our rock and our refuge. You are our only comfort. You are our only hope. Merciful God, you know the depth of our suffering. We have only begun to mourn those we have lost. Uphold all those who are in circumstances around the world that are violent, are scary, are desperate. God, surround us in your everlasting arms. Hear our cries of despair Heed our calls for justice, and do not let us do not let us lose hope. Our help comes from you, O Lord. You have made heaven and earth. In the midst of grief, you are our comfort. In the face of uncertainty, you are our rock. In the wake of tragedy, you are our hope. So even as we weep, we praise you and place our trust in you. We pray in the name of the one who suffered and died and was raised for us, Jesus. And we pray as Jesus taught. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Sometimes our only song is weeping, our only sound is gasping breath sometimes it seems that God is sleeping while our brief lives are bound in death who hears the song our sorrow swallow and offers hope the prayers within our tears. Sometimes we catch the faintest humming, a far off tune, our hearts know well. Sometimes we sing the spirit coming our song returns our voices swell the spirit sings though we are shaken and Christ has shared our heartfelt cries restored
Lord watches over your going out and your coming in. The Lord shields your joys and holds your sorrows. God bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. Go in peace. Christ is with you. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The reading today is from Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O God, our ancestors have told us what deeds you performed in their days in the days of old. You with your own hand drove out the nations, but then you planted, you afflicted the peoples, but put them, you set free. For, oh, 